Well, I've always wanted to stay in a Hilton hotel. Growing up, I've looked at Hilton hotels as being very expensive and very posh hotels. While I'm in Bournemouth, I thought I'm gonna go and check out this four-star hotel. It's also part hotel and part residence as well. The front of the hotel is uh, where you can actually live and uh, the other part of the hotel is where you can come and stay and enjoy Bournemouth. A funky looking building, but it's also starting to show its age. I'm very excited and have high expectations as it is a Hilton. Let's go and see what it's like, come on. A big lobby. Well, I love the seagull lights. They are so cool. That's a little bit odd. I bet the bells have been taken out, have they? No, they're not. <laughs> if you've got kids, I'm sure they will be at that. Wow, look at these. Oh, they don't move. You might remember those as a kid. So I'm on level number five. I use my key before it'll allow me to go up to the floor. TV in the lift. It's almost like it's got wallpaper on the walls of the lift. Which side is it gonna open? Left or right? Left. Well, this is odd. Park bench, street light, some horses. How many mirrors there are down these hallways? What's that about? Mirror, and they're all different shapes. Mirror, mirror. I love how you can just check yourself out in each mirror. Right, number 520, here is my room. As always, I'll let you know the price at the end of the video. Is it worth the price? Well, as expected, the hotel has got this quirky Art Deco vibe to it. The room is very Art Deco-y. Not quite sure if I like it though. So as I said in the beginning of the video, you know, I always looked up to Hilton as being this amazing brand when I was younger, but straight away, I'm gonna pick out some faults that are not great for a Hilton hotel. For one, I don't know if you can see that on the camera, there's like loads of scuff marks. I mean, there's splatters. All there, all this is really dirty. The cushion that they've got on the front of the bed as you walk in is stained there and there. So <laughs> straight away, it's not the best start. I mean, like, look at the walls. The walls are really bad. There's stains and there's splatters. Like, look at this as you come in. But really randomly, they're polished, all the light fittings. I mean, look how polished they are, but then the walls, are really dirty. I mean, really dirty. I'm very surprised. And in actual fact, it's putting me off the room a little bit. I mean, I'm not picking this out. I mean, this is what it is straight away when you walk in. You see all these splatter marks on the wall. It doesn't look very pleasant. Not quite sure what this area is. I guess this is for your tea and coffee. We do have a fridge. Some free water and the tea and coffee. You can tell you're staying in a posh hotel when they've got lids over the glasses. It's quite surprising really, they've got the lids over the glasses to make sure they're nice and, but then they put the coffee cups face down. Mind you, they are on some tissue. Got a hot chocolate, all your tea and your coffee, a coffee bag, all very nice. I thought they'd have better biscuits than this. Look, ginger biscuit and a kettle. The same kettles that you'll find in the Premier Inn. An empty drawer. So I guess you could put your cases on here. I like the localness of this. That's where we are at the Hilton. Bournemouth Pier, the observation wheel, the International Centre, Pavilion Theatre. Ice bucket ready to go. Huge, big mirror. What's in here? We've got a safe. Every hotel now seems to have a hairdryer in a bag. More drawer space, huge wardrobe. Oh, it's got a light. It's, oh, the light's coming from under here. Nice touch. That is one big iron, it's huge. I can't tell if the floor is clean or if it's dirty. I mean, 
there's stains on it. I can see loads of bits on it. So it, it I'm sure it's been hoovered. Well, it does look like it's been hoovered, but it also doesn't at the same time. Love these bedside trunks. They're like, almost like cases. Nice and deep. Again, the sockets and lights, they're amazingly polished. Funky little lights, reading lights on the side. Is that supposed to? Oh, I don't think that's supposed to do that. The wire's showing. Health and safety. Why do they polish all those, but leave that out? Love the headboard though. Like what we saw in reception, the theme continues in the bedroom. Nice big chair with little leg rest or a buffet, which is quite nice and comfy. Oh, I forgot to mention, this is also a dog-friendly hotel. So I hope that no dogs have laid on this. But you don't get something like that normally in a hotel, do you? Phone by the bed for reception. Let's turn this light on. Love the lamp. The chair does look a little bit grubby and worn in places. I've got a table. What's my view like? Uh, not the best. Have I got a sea view? I guess if I was a little bit higher. Huge curtains. I like the little lights underneath. And the seagulls on the wall, apart from the stains, quite nice. Huge TV. So I've got a little workstation. And I'm getting travel lodge vibes. It's, it's kind of... It, well, it's that cheap kind of wood that you would get in a travel lodge. I'm pretty disappointed with the look of this room, though, with all the stains and, I mean, that is completely and utterly old. But it's a huge bed. Take my shoes off. Climb on gracefully. Ugh! Nice and comfy. The headboard is really stained, actually. It doesn't obviously get cleaned that often. All the dirty marks on it. Air conditioning. Again, just look at the stains on the wall. I don't know if the camera picks it up, but it just looks so dirty. It feels really dirty. The bathroom. Now the bathroom is very nice. Eh? Hey? Is it like missing the shower? That's the shower? Hang on. Never seen that before. How's this? What? Has anybody seen a shower like that? I've never seen a shower like that before. That has just blown my mind. Well, that's worth staying in this hotel, if nothing else. Huge big bath, although it is a little bit chipped. The enamel in places. But I like the fact, again, that these are in the middle, so you're not right underneath the shower so you don't get wet. Also, very surprised Hilton with the, the plastic lead going into the shower. Very surprised about that. Love the sink though. Complimentary items, shower gel, soap, tissue box. What's that? Volume. All right, so I can hear the TV in here. Now I've seen in one Hilton, they've got a TV in the bathroom. Obviously that's not here, which is a bit of a shame. I think they had it like over here. Let me know in the comments if you've ever seen one. Again, look at the state of the wall in the bathroom. Now, stains on the outside in the room, you probably wonder what they are, but I guess obviously it's to do with the shower. That's nice though. Yeah, there's the speaker. Well, what do you make of the room? To be honest, I'm not overly impressed. Yes, the bed looks nice. I don't like how all of the walls in the room are literally dirty and dripping with stuff. I can only assume it's when people have had a shower, they haven't shut the door, or they've got a big problem with damp in here, I don't know. It doesn't smell as nice as reception does. It smells a little bit musty. I can't tell whether the carpet's clean or not, because it looks like there's a few stains on the carpet, and also quite a few bits. So, you know, has it been hoovered? Very disappointed at the moment. I thought this, being a four-star Hilton hotel, it would be something special, like the photos showed. Anyway, let's go and check out the rest of the hotel. There's a sky bar and a swimming pool. Whether I can go and film in the swimming pool, I don't know, but we'll go and check it out, come on. You see, this is the kind of wood that you would actually expect in a Hilton, rather than the wood that I saw in my room. So with the room rate, I also get access into the spa, the sky lounge as well. We'll go and check out the sky lounge first. Yeah, I do like this though, this is weird, but I also noticed something really random. Why is there a phone just there? Just in case you need to phone home. At the moment, this is turning into one of my worst rated hotels. The bar's nice. Got a very posh restaurant here as well. Very swish, very fancy. Place to get a drink. Oh, 
Well, I'm excited to see what the Sky Bar is all about. I've heard some, uh, some good things about it. Started from the bottom, now we're here. It, is this not open for residents? Oh. Gutted. Private function. Nobody said that, not even reception. Well, I can't enjoy the Sky Lounge. Again, this lift is showing its age a little bit. See, this is the kind of look that I remember from Hilton Hotels, very sparkly. They have a ballroom. I bet this is not open. Oh, wow, this is massive. Mm. I didn't think it would be this big. Check out these lights though. Business spa. Is anybody allowed in here? Look, free tea and coffee. Loads of it. Ah, oh, so if you want a meeting here, this is where you'd go, I guess. All these rooms. Look at this. Wow. I mean, people that come here for meetings, do they actually pay attention and have a look around at all this stuff? An old machine where you used to check in for work. Are all the clocks showing the right time? No, some of them are. Look at these old typewriters though, do they work? My mum used to have a typewriter like that. I still remember hearing, oh, they work, they work, look. All these business rooms have got names. A poise, not a wind up. There's an executive lounge here. There's like a buffet in there. Hi, yeah. Am I allowed just to have a look at the swimming pool? Yeah. Wow. Gold glitter. That is nice. Wow, it's a bit soulless in here, isn't it? Like it here, live here. So if you the private residence, you'd go up here. It was a really good night's sleep, actually, to be fair. Very impressed with the bed. I'm not going to have breakfast this morning just because I've got to leave early and get on the road, but I think the breakfast was about £16 extra. So let's talk about the room. I was a little bit gutted, I have to say. I've been wanting to come to a Hilton for a while. The carpets did feel a little bit dirty and it didn't look like they'd been hoovered very well. And the thing that really put me off was the stains on the wall. I mean, it wasn't just like one wall. Every single wall in this room has stains on it and is dripping with something. So whether that's a problem with the shower and people not shutting the shower door and that's why maybe it's the air conditioning, I don't know. I didn't expect the electric wiring to be showing as well in a four star hotel and certainly not in a Hilton. The bathroom was really nice and kind of the standard that I would expect from a Hilton. Including that shower, I have no idea what that's called, but I want to get one of them. As you walk into reception and as you walk into the bar, it does feel like a really grand hotel. So walking down the corridors with all those mirrors, they must be a pain to clean. I was really looking forward to coming into the room. The restaurant looks really nice. And I was also gutted that the Sky Bar was closed for a private function. They didn't tell me that in reception, but I found that out in the end. So to get the best rate, I did join the Hilton Honours programme and the room eventually cost me £109 for the night. And because of the room, £109, I guess it's okay. Would you stay here? Have you stayed here? Um, and are all Hiltons like this? Is there a better one or maybe a worse one? Do let me know in the comments. Give the video a thumbs up. It helps me out enormously. And make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time.